This is my attempt at the fading LED, the RGB, with the Arduino. At first I didn't know what uh, this LED was. I didn't know if it was common cathode or common anode. It just happened to come into uh, parts bag that I had. It's going all crazy here. So, I'd already had the Arduino programmed with the Blink program. And that would blink that LED on and off, on and off. And in the code, which is way beyond my skill level now, but I remembered that it was using ground and pin 13. And the board already has the resistor built in for the LED. So what I had done was make jumpers come from ground at first to the anode or cathode. I didn't know. That's the second pin that's going over into the row behind it. So this is the, the red. That, that one there is the green, and the last one's the blue. I hooked it up so positive was going to here. Or was it negative? No, it's positive. I hooked it up so negative was going to it. Because I thought that it could be the cathode. And then pin 13 I put without a resistor, because this already has one built into it on the red just momentarily and it did not light so that right away told me that this is a common anode and not a common cathode because I switched the leads I put the positive on the second pin which is the longest pin and then I would touch the, the ground to the red and it would light up so this that told me this is a common anode RGB so I went ahead with the code on the website in the description that I'll post when I upload this and it said you needed a RGB LED the uh, project was for a common anode so I lucked out anode meaning positive on the LED. It said you needed a 330 ohm resistor and two 180 ohm. Uh, I had suspected, I didn't know which resistor went on which leg, but I had suspected that typically red needs more current uh, limiting resistance then green or blue, uh, I had thought that maybe, you know, it's probably going to go on the red leg. And I checked and on the uh, picture that the person made and zoomed in, and sure enough, the, the 330 was going to the red. And then the two 180s went to green and blue. So the way I wired it was this don't have RGB uh, jumpers so I used I looked at the code because the description didn't say which uh, pins went what color in the beginning of the code it was simple enough to see that red they were putting it on pulse width modulation that's the way they're running this this circuit the tilts on six on five and on three six in the beginning of the code says pin six equals red so I just put a red jumper over here and uh, plugged in the 330 ohm resistor from here 
to here the way the reason I have it this this you know sw smoosh down here and then up against there is so in case things get bumped nothing's gonna short out very easily uh, okay so on to the green in the code it said that green would be pin 3 so I put 3 all the way around here to this pin right here or this jumper and this jumper goes to okay I'm using the lower resistor the 180 is right here going from here to over and down on the leg where the green is don't have a blue jumper so I just use yellow yellow was pin 5 so pin 5 goes over to here and then the resistor over here goes to the jump that side where that jumper is and goes over to the blue side which is right here that's the blue leg then the positive it said in the instructions to put it to 5 volts on the other side of the Arduino board so here's the anode there's the jumper and it's going over to the positive 5 here, let's see if I can focus for you. There you go. Positive five. First time I tried to upload the code, it didn't work. So I tried uploading it again, and it took. And this is the result. I'll turn off the light for you if I can. Uh, doesn't look like I can turn off the LED with this camera app, so I'll try and do it like this. better to do this at night but uh, it fades quite nicely the red is a little fast it doesn't sit in the colors that I uh, depending upon the color it doesn't sit on um, one particular color as long as I'd like it and I would I would have thought that maybe that uh, it would cite it that white would be a cycle on it all you know red and green and blue on at the same time but I'm guessing that the way that the code was written uh, it doesn't it isn't set up for something like that so I guess once I learn a little bit more about the Arduino code that I can figure out how to do that but a friend of mine was wanting to do a project with a pick chip basically do the same thing this is doing. I was thinking, well, I could do this with the Arduino because the PIC is basically a little microcontroller. Arduino is not the cheapest way to do it, but uh, I thought I'd do it that way. And I'm powering it with the uh, Radio Shack wall wart thing. <clears throat> it came with the, with the Make Electronics Components Kit 1. It's set at uh, 9 volts right now. I think this, the Arduino operates from I think 5 or 6 volts up to like 12, 14, something like that. So, anyways, that is a neat little simple nightlight to build or what have you.